SpaceX CEO Elon Musk just officially revealed that its monster Starship will grow 5 to 10 meters in the coming years, with some huge changes to the booster launch system for better use of the rockets. How will these changes unfold? Why did he make such a decision? Let's find out everything in today's episode of Alpha Tech Channel. Starting in the mid-20th century, humanity has explored space faster than ever before. We've launched satellites, telescopes, space stations, and spacecraft, all strapped to rocket-propelled launch vehicles that help them breach the atmosphere. The development of the world's rockets saw significant changes over time, and like all things, it started small and worked its way up to its literal growth alongside better capabilities and power. Tesla owner's Silicon Valley has recently shared a comparison picture of the rockets of the world. According to the picture, SpaceX Starship is the largest rocket in the present, especially with its full-stack state as it stands above the massive super-heavy booster that completes the stainless steel vessel. Interestingly, CEO and owner Elon Musk replied that the Starship would eventually grow taller in the coming years, approximately 5 to 10 meters in height for future versions. It's a notable jump in size from previous versions of the rocket. When Musk initially outlined what was then known as the BFR in September 2017, the ship measured 46 meters or 150 feet, and the whole vehicle measured 106 meters, 348 feet. When Musk unveiled the Starship Mark I prototype at the Boca Chica facility in Texas in September of 2019, complete with its new stainless steel approach, the ship measured its current 50 meters, 164 feet, and the full design at 118 meters, 387 feet. That's not the only place where Starship is changing. On another tweet, a Twitter user posted a question regarding the Starship's booster that uses all engines on launch, with its other rockets focusing on the rocket's boost back to the planet. Here Musk agreed with the user's statement and claimed the company had already changed those for rockets on future missions and adding other tweaks to the booster QD and COPB segments for future use. With a few pipes connected to also already existing pipes, meaning less mass on the booster and bigger COPVs, which you take up half empty anyway, that change may come after B7. Back to this wonderful photo, we also find out that before they were used for space travel, rockets were produced and developed to be used as ballistic missiles. The first rocket to officially reach space, defined by the Federation Aeronautique Internationale as crossing the Kármán line at 100 kilometers, 62 miles above Earth's main sea level, was the German-produced V-2 rocket in 1944. But after World War II, V-2 production fell into the hands of the U.S., the Soviet Union, and the U.K. Over the next few decades, the unfolding of the Cold War, what started as a nuclear arms race of superior ballistic missiles, turned into the space race. Both the U.S. and USSR tried to be the first to achieve and master spaceflight, driving the production of many new and different rockets. As the space race wound down, the U.S. proved to be the biggest producer of different rockets. The eventual dissolution of the USSR in 1991 transferred production of Soviet rockets to Russia or the Ukraine. Then later, both Europe, through the European Space Agency, and Japan ramped up rocket production as well. Most recently, more countries have joined the race, including China, Iran, and India. Though the above infographic shows many different families of rockets, it doesn't include all, including China's Kwazao rocket and Iran's Zulana rocket and the Kassed rocket. In other words, CEO Elon Musk just announced that SpaceX is aiming to complete up to 100 launches in 2023, while the company continues to set records in 2022. To be honest, in the history of orbital spaceflight, no family of rockets, let alone a single variant like Falcon 9, has completed more than 61 launches in a calendar year. The cadence target Musk is suggesting is unprecedented and would be an extraordinary challenge even for SpaceX, a company that just completed its 50th successful Falcon 9 launch in a little over 12 months. However, it's less impossible than it sounds. After a few years of stagnation at a cadence of roughly 15 to 20 launches from 2017 to 19, and an impressive doubling from 2019 to 2020 as Starlink entered its build-out phase, SpaceX effectively flipped a switch in 2021. In the first half of the year, they launched 20 times, demonstrating an unexpected 50% improvement over 2020's annual cadence. SpaceX completed six of those 11 launches in a period of four weeks near the end of the year. That would be an annual cadence of 78 launches if they sustained that for a full year. 
But thus far, 2022 has been an eight-month extension of the last few weeks of 2021. SpaceX appears to have improved upon itself again, accelerating the launch cadence throughout the year. In the first half of the year, they managed 27 Falcon 9 launches, nearly beating the 31 launch record set in 2021 in half the time and demonstrating an annual cadence for up to 54 if sustained. Instead of continuing that impressive pace in the second half, they launched six times in July and six more in August, sustaining an annualized cadence of 72 per year for two full months. At the moment, that could be considered a fluke, but if SpaceX manages another six in September, which is the plan, it could be deemed the new normal for Falcon 9 launch cadence. Now to achieve 100 in 2023, SpaceX would need to find a way to launch an average of eight per month, an improvement of 33% over the six launch months the company appears to be increasingly comfortable with, likely thanks to intentional planning and over-engineering done years in advance of the payoff, SpaceX's fleet of Falcon launch pads and recovery ships, drone ship landing platforms especially, appear to be capable of achieving that lofty cadence goal. Assuming all three pads were able to consistently operate at their fastest demonstrated turnaround time with little to no downtime, they could theoretically support 115 launches per year. SpaceX drone ship availability is another concern, but the current fleet of three ships can theoretically support 100 Falcon 9 landings in one year if each ship is able to recover one booster every 11 days. Without significant upgrades, either feat would be extremely impressive on its own. Stacking those challenges launching 100 times in 2023, it would require an extraordinary effort and a good amount of luck. But it's far from impossible. Given the abrupt and impressive progress SpaceX has made and continues to make the last two years, it's also a reasonable goal. Far from easy, but well within reach with some moderate improvement. And finally, Musk Calculus may include a number of launches of SpaceX Next Generation Starship rockets, which would make the task even more achievable for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. Time will tell, and SpaceX's activity in the last four months of 2022 will make it clear whether 2023's 100 launch target is feasible. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Don't forget, share your ideas in the comment section. Your support is motivation for us to create more quality content. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.